have a mostly positive experience on Twitter and I still find it um, just really fun chatting with people about inconsequential things you know I try and avoid the rows and the ranting and you know recommend books to people uh, listen to other people's book recommendations talk about what we're watching on the telly or you know just chit chat there was a point in the band everything but the girl where our career took a bit of a downturn and we started to become under more and more pressure from the record company to have hits essentially you know that classic old one and i think what i didn't really realize at the time was that there were lots of people out there who were loving our albums anyway who actually didn't care that we weren't necessarily having hits and maybe if i'd actually been able to hear from them god this song means this to me you know this album got me through this terrible period of my life i would have felt oh god it is still worthwhile you know there's a lot of people for whom this is really meaningful but when you start to have that slight atmosphere from you know other people around you of oh you're not having hits it's not quite working you know you start to panic and you think oh what are we doing wrong Am I And I think at its best, again, on Twitter, you can be yourself, you know, it's unmediated. Whereas I felt for years and years, everyone's version of me was what they read in an interview. So it was, it was through a, a middleman. When I first went on Twitter, the thing people most used to say to me was, oh my God, you're funny. And I would think, well, most people are funny, really. Most people joke a lot of the time, but yeah. you know, it's nice to be able to have the chance to just show you, you do. You can laugh at yourself, you can laugh at your own work, you know. Even if you take it seriously, it doesn't, it doesn't mean you don't take it seriously, but you can still have a sense of humour.